Hi right, YouTube, this is a, a short video clip of my Mocha home network. Um, some of you have been asking, you know, how I did my hardwiring, um, how it's set up, you know, very low latency, and uh, it's it's run off of Cat 6 and uh, Cat 5e throughout my uh, the majority of my basement, and I'm running a 50 over 50 uh, Verizon FiOS uh, internet. So in my basement, in my closet here, I have my electrical panel, my ONT uh, power block, and I just started building a little shelf here um, to house the majority of my network. So starting out here, I have two power strips. Um, they are daisy chained. I did order a new uh, mono price. Um, I think it's a 15 block. Uh, power strip that actually has hangers on it so that will be in place there um, off of that we do have the Verizon Fios uh, N-band which is also called the Gig E uh, Action Tech Router um, off of there we have it going right down into this Netgear it's a uh, gigabit switch um, 8 port so the yellow coming in is off my Gigi router. Um, I do have a shielded twisted pair right here as you can see. Um, that is going to the other side of my house and I'll show you that here in a second. Um, we also have, this is for the Sonos right there, it's a Sonos Boost. Um, just to help boost the Wi-Fi for the Sonos uh, mesh network. And then there's two other ones that are linked on here. Um, the shield of twisted pair is going up and over, you'll see that in a minute. And these two here are actually going to my MyCloud mirror. It's four terabyte um, down in RAID 1, so it's two terabytes. And then I have an old MyCloud, uh, MyBook Live, which is, has the green blinking light on it right now. The MyBook Live is also two terabyte. I've had that for years. It's done me uh, very well. Western Digital, I have high high expectations and they fulfilled all my expectations um, so I've been using that forever that's actually a backup to the my cloud uh, mirror um, love the drive it's a uh, very user friendly both of them have gigabit uh, ethernet jacks on them so they're run right in here that's where you see the the two blacks um, right there this gray one here actually goes to the other side of the room that's going to a uh, 10 100 switch um, I'll show you that here um, actually no that this one goes uh, for future expansion I'll show you where that is I just ran that over there this is just cat um, I think it's cat 5e on this one um, can't see it might just be cat 5 but this is that's what's on we use for uh, future but this um, it's cat 6 shielded twisted pair this is going to the other side um, I did that just because there's a lot of electrical wires and um, just didn't want any interference. And this is a spare cable right here just in case I need to plug in and uh, use that. So we'll leave this room. There is the shielded twisted pair right up here in the ceiling. It goes right across. There's a lot of cables here. That goes over on the back side of this wall and actually pops out on this plate here. Um, so the one plate comes out and it comes right in the back of this Monoprice 8 port which is running all of my equipment here, my TiVo, my uh, Samsung Blu-ray, surround sound, also has streaming capabilities in it. I use it for um, pretty much everything streaming wise, so Amazon, Netflix, Hulu, um, Plex, and um, I'll be using it for DLNA uh, here sh shortly. Xbox 360 is over here. I use that for, for Fios since this TiVo box is basically just a streaming device for my other TiVo box upstairs. Um, I don't have a cable card or anything in this one. It's just to remotely watch stuff that I have upstairs because this is a lifetime service on it and I'm not getting rid of it. Um, PS3 and then here's my Apple TV. Um, this is the third gen uh, it's awesome, love it, use it all the time. Um, so, shield of twisted pair comes from the wall, comes in the back of here, and then this all splits out. 
into everything else, um, as you can see here. One of these cables is black one, which is only a Cat5. It's my only Cat5 cable. Um, this one goes back to the wall into another jack, and that is going on the other side, and I'll show you that here in just a second. So, so far, everything is hardwired, all Cat6, um, and it's, it's actually pretty quick. So, in my other little room here, as I walk around, I have a nice tangled mess here, and I am slowly getting to clean this stuff up as I had just finished running all these cables. So, there's your purple shielded twisted pair that we saw from the other wall. I have another shielded twisted pair the same length. I believe they're 50 feet. They might be 35 feet. But that runs up and over and runs over there, and I'll show you that in a second. So, the other gray cable is right here so this is going to be for the future i ran this over i'm actually going to tuck it up above the rafters and shove it on the other side because um, i've got another block i'm going to put in there so the shielded twisted pair purple comes over here and i have it run into an old um, 10 100 54 uh, gs linksys router which is just in bridge mode so it's again it's just a daisy chained um switch for right now and I have that just temporarily running just to my little Xbox setup here um, just out of the way I got a little 24 inch LG um, LED monitor uh, Xbox One's over here and my MacBook Pro um, even though this stuff's only running off the 10 100 it's not pulling that much data so gigabit's not gonna net me any faster speeds um, so that's what I have for down here um, I'll show you the Mocha stuff upstairs so this is my upstairs TV setup. There's a 46 inch plasma, uh, Panasonic, um, we have the Fios network extender here to the top and my TiVo Romeo on the bottom. That TiVo Romeo is running off of the uh, gigabit port on the Fios network extender. The Fios network extender is basically a network extender that works over Mocha and repeats the Fios it's a fully integrated uh, Mocha network. It's wired throughout the entire house. Uh, I'm using existing coax uh, with my two 8 port gigabit switches, um, some shielded twisted pair, plenty of room for expansion. Uh, eventually, I'll re be replacing the mono price 8 port gigabit switch with a, another uh, Netgear. ProSafe switch. It's web managed, it's not a fully managed switch, which I like, um, but it does have you know, QoS and uh, some small little tidbits there, low power saving, that I, I can use in the future. But as for now, uh, it works good for me. Um, with the Fios Network Extender, I highly advise anybody that's looking for one to pick up one. It does take out the dead spot in the far corner of my other house. Uh, far corner of the house where the TV is, which is really, um, I had a network repeater there, didn't work, I used another piggybacked router to extend the network, didn't work as well. So the network extender keeping one network, uh, 2.4 gigahertz in the basement and upstairs with that Fios network extender, it's given me a uh, 2.4 and a 5 gigahertz band, all off of that main uh, Netgear router.